Starting line is Morrell, Caldwell, Burns, Brakefield, and Akuba. And the same starting five for Mississippi State in the last eight games for Chris Jans in his first year as a head coach at Mississippi State. Admitted he doesn't know what the Egg Bowl's all about. He says, I'll find out on Saturday. And here we go. Doug Shouse has got it along with Todd Austin and Chuck Jones. And we're underway. And Brad Nestor, a little pause here. And Jay Ray, I think we're going to see a little man to man, coach. <laughs> I thought we were going to see a man to man charge from Rack right from the start. I know, but he was coming right over the table. Be interesting to see how they get open shots. The key, I think, for all this against this really stingy checking on the clock right now, Mississippi defense, Jay. Yeah. And Morrell's got to get going. Morrell's a great scorer. Outstanding shooter, but he hasn't been playing well recently offensively. He's a guy that can really go off for Ole Miss. He's only averaged seven points in the last two games after 15 plus the previous games. He's their leading scorer. They looked around that horn set with a ball screen at the end of it. Pretty good defense by State. Here is Morrell. Brickfield on top. He can shoot it too. He's going to have to use the bounce. Two to shoot. And a rebound. Out of bounds to the Bulldogs. They started this one back in 1914, fellas. 109 years ago, they played four straight days. Mississippi State won all four of them back in February of 14. It took three years for Ole Miss to finally beat these guys. Was that your first announcement? That was my first game. That was it. Uh, get inside to the big fella. He's got to be quick and make decisions. Smith. Not a great free throw shooter, but a guy that can do some damage here. They go right to it. Nice entry pass inside, but it's not the way they turn it over. On the drive, off the window for Miles Burns. I love this kid watching him. Very active, good at putting it on the deck. He's a national champion, rap. Right in New Orleans, wins the national championship. And now comes here and brings winning attitude, toughness. And, and that first two shots, he's the one that's stepping up here in, the, in, the, in this game and, and, and really taking it on the shoulder. Chance for a three-point play for the senior. Houston native that played that ball that Jay's talking about at Loyola New Orleans, and he's got the opening three. You like rap that they start to go inside right away to go loose? I, absolutely. He's got to get some touches. Decimate in, in the interior. You get some open looks. And very seldom are they giving him a touch to the lane. That's how they do. Hey, Eric Reed, the go. follow up blocks. Knocked out of there by Akuba. Akuba, what a presence. Runs the floor, rim to rim. Who steps? Got away with one there. Morrell, the outside jumper is a little short. Rebound, snatched down by Cameron Matthews. Cameron Matthews is their answer to Miles Burns. He's so tough on the glass. How about that body? Don't you wish you had that on the pitch? As a tight end, I take him. <laughs> they got him. A little trap. A little drag dribble. Somebody's got to dive to the rim. Lost ball in traffic. Still going to be Mississippi State ball. As soon as you get the cuts down in here, you're going to see some action. I just think they got to dive to the rim, too, to help them out on that drag dribble. Kermit told us they were going to go after him right away. They were going to double him, and they, and, and they did it. They, that opens up shooters and dives, like you're saying, Rap. Nice pump. Good left hand, pretty. How about that drive? He's got some move on the low box, Jay. He's got a terrific spin out, utilized it from a little distance that time. And he made that move facing the basket, right? Which he can, he can do. And Lou Smith with the opening bucket for Mississippi State and wild shot on the other end by Ole Miss. Yeah, on, not a good delivery. Pull up jumper by Jeffrey. He's short. They need him to put it on the deck more. He settles deep. Burns. Nice find. The kick out. Westfield. Shooter. Shooter. That's a two. Uh, you get recruited by two. You got to be a player, don't you think? <laughs> he had a great game here at home against uh, Alabama. He could shoot it. Nice cut. cut. That's what they got to do. There's the dive, Brad. Matthews with a flush. That's, that's a, a big play where it's, it's definitely a, a chess game. Can they hurt them on those double teams with dives and kick out threes?
And they do a great job of back cutting too. Dribble at you. Redfield's trying to get it down to the baseline. Back out on top. They swing it around. Ten on the shot clock. And a scoop shot almost went. Second effort off the mark and a foul underneath. Boy, uh, they act on the glass. They are. Both teams are. Here's the defense we talked about for Mississippi State. Their first 10 games, they kept everybody under 60 points. And that was off to an 11 0 start, and they got in the top 15. They've lost three straight now. They're trying to straighten that out against their in state rivals. As TJ Caldwell is going to go to the free throw line. It's Chris Jones with Wichita State with Greg Marshall, a very defensive minded guy. Great run of the tournament last year as well. Also coached under Porter Moser. Remember that? That's at, right. At Illinois State. He's keeping under some great coaches. And a little shot quickly of Kermit Davis. Both of them got a chance to chat with his dad, former coach. Both of them with great personalities. He coached here from 70 to 77. For the Bulldogs. Well, nice shot going side to side. Now what do you tell me? Look at that strength. Matthews follows his own miss, and then Smith cleans up. Again, uh, following the block, the shot bears the last. Exactly. Like, like Brad saying, cleaning up. He can he can do that off of drives all day long, but they got to be aggressive not to settle for shot threes and drive the ball. Sweeping drive by Morrell. Kept alive, second chance. Wide open, look. Nice recovery by Reed. Caldwell. Up off the window. Rick Field. And finally, he gets a whistle underneath. You got to be tough out there. <laughs> off to a physical two years here. And now it is fifth year for the enemy as the head coach. Yeah. You know, knowing Kermit Jr., he probably charged the father for the ticket. Oh, <laughs> That's bad, man. That's, yeah, that's bad. Pretty good resume, huh? Coach of the year, a lot of conferences, numerous championships. Winning as coach ever in Middle Tennessee history, Sunbelt Conference as well. I think 14 conference championships. Something like that, yeah. I got a zipper. Here's that one for the one you like, Rap. Yeah, exactly. You're going to get looks, but the big thing I think defensively is you must rebound. And also, you've got to get to the cracks, like the elbow with a dribble at some point. Now they go 2 3, Jake. This is part of the uh, tournament instituted just maybe five years ago. Off the window. I don't know if Jeffrey's called that or not, but he'll take it. I, I don't care if you call it or not, but I'll take the kiss, but I want Jeffrey shooting those. They've got to attack from the perimeter. He's the guy that can do it. The guys against Tennessee, they haven't had a field goal yet at this point, so they're off to a much better start. Absolutely. These, both these clubs are shooting and chasing. Sean Russell can get in the lane, this kid. Give it Here up. Here comes Shaquille Moore. Doesn't give it up, but he does draw a foul. That you, you don't get fast breaks against this caliber defense. You've got to give it up at the right time. You've got an easy deuce. Here they are attacking the 1-3-1. One, Good ball movement, found the open seam. Got to take those, or they'll just keep pressuring you and pressuring you. That's going to open them up, and that's going to allow driving opportunities. Shaquille Moore, Jr. out of Greensboro, North Carolina, at the free throw line. Started off his career at NC State. And the one thing he can do, Brad, is get in the lane. And they don't have guys that do that, get a lane touch. Brad, is that my man McNair in there now from Philly? Yep. Yeah, man. How did he get away from you? See, Rap, now he comes in. You like him, you like him down inside. <laughs> and I like that he can shoot threes, Brad. The tours have been arguing about that. Yeah, even when he was going against his own teammates the other day, somebody hit the deck and he said, you going to tell me you're going to flop your 6'11", 265? <laughs> Come on, man. That was a Philadelphia comment. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can tell the age difference between Jay and I. I want to go inside. He wants those three-point shots. <laughs> it served him very well. Yeah, the great equalizer, right? A reference of one of those guys again. Triple drive, find some people who open threes. Both teams' defense is so impressive. They got him on the box. You got to pass the ball. Ruffin misses his first two shots. Back come the Bulldogs with the lead. That's what you need from this kid, Jeffries. And maybe that three set it up for that too. Exactly. Thursday 
It's a new episode of TV's big hit comedy, Ghosts. Show critics call laugh out loud, funny, delightful, and genuinely hilarious. Sounds like our dinner last night. See why folks believe in ghosts next Thursday after Young Sheldon on CBS. When you guys got into the Rolly Massimino, uh, Louis Carnesecca stories last night, I thought I was going to lose my shrimp and grits. I'm telling you. And your catfish. Yeah. You blew my mind with the order of the catfish. The man. catfish and grits, yeah. Well, you're teaching us down south. We loved it. Us, us Northeasterners loved it. Everybody complimented us. Great broadcasting doing these SEC games. Well deserved. Uh, thank you. Nice help. And nice hustle. He's back court with control. Those feet are just a little bit too big. But well, valuing the basketball is so important to both these programs. You got to get shots and you got to chase them. Neither team electrifying from deep. And the right call. Nobody else had possession. And, and we've talked about Mississippi State defense, but we we got to say to start this game, Ole Miss defensively is creating turnovers, and and, and they're matching their intensity defensively. I think Ole Miss with a guy like Ruffin. He can create some offense just on his own. That's what you need sometimes against good defense. McGinnis really brings it on the floor now. Great screener and rebounder as well. One for the last nine now for the Rebels from the Play, floor. Plays hard, too. Here's the big fella, McNair. The Thanks, man. That's where he belongs. I like <laughs> And up for you, cheesesteak from Philly. <laughs> I'll take that, but watch him set a screen and pop for a three next time, Dad. Spread him out. But that was a good go-to move. Again, it's really so wide. Who can make a shot for the Rebels right now? That's the question. you got to attack if you're struggling. Break for you. That's not it either. One make in the last... 10 and 0 for their last seven. Now the reason they're good offensive rebounding teams is they don't make those open shots. This is Tyler Stevenson here. He's, he, this kid really gave him great minutes in the last game. Ruffin going to take another crazy shot. He wanted to get the shot away. Just stolen from him by Davis. And not running anything. A little ice. Jeffries all the way with a finger roll. And that's what they've been after. Had a chance to speak to George Brooks. He wants Jeffries to get it in the lane and attack. The ball in the post. That's what Mississippi State's doing. And it doesn't really matter. Raph, you, you would say it doesn't matter who it is. Just take it hard to the rim and then go to the offensive glass. And Deshaun Ruffin really struggling, forcing things out of the game right now. He's got to relax, get his comfort zone. Ole Miss is shooting 17% from the floor. Attacking the press. Ooh. Good ball movement this time down the court anyway. And a foul on the move to the baseline. Yeah, a little nickel diamond out there after all the physicality. You know, Alex Stevenson picks up the foul. They sub in the, the guard, they sub the guards in and out like Ruffin, but but Brakefield and Morrell have to stay aggressive, even if they're missing a couple shots. They're the guys that can really get buckets here. Hook is short. There at a hand of the rebound and lost it out of bounds. It'll be Rebels basketball. And pretty good defense there, Jay. They bumped them out a little yeah. bit. We pulled the string on the jump hook. So we're talking about the physicality offensively. You know, as we, you and I have watched games, they do a great job on based on out-of-bounds plays. Ole Miss has always got good cuts on base on out of bounds. They usually give it back to him on the inbounds. Yeah. Now this kid can get in the lane too, and he can make shots. Somebody needs to make one for Ole Miss. They missed their last eight. I think it's 17 against Oklahoma early in the year. 21 against Stafford. He's going to be lucky to get a shot. Got to shoot it. Nobody sees it. No good. No good. No good. No good. I think it was short. I'm going to check it. When you face the, I'm sorry, Brad, when you face, you got to see that, Jay. Yeah. And end of the clock, you got to know you got one dribble there. You know, at the end of a clock, one second is one basketball move. It could be a dribble, it could be a fake. So you got to look up, see, I got three seconds. I have one dribble, and I got to get a shot off. And what do you think, Brad? I say no. I agree uh, with you, Brad. 
You know, it's interesting. We, we were talking about their substitution at the at the guard spot. You know, they, they bring in uh, the young point guard, Abram, right? And right away, you look at a New York kid like Deshaun Davis, and he just gets in them. And they can't get into the offense. It's amazing. Right? The more I look at this, the closer it gets. <laughs> I still don't think it, so. It's zero down the end. Seeing it down here. There's a good look at the opposite end, and the ball's still in his hand. I know you can't see that far, Brad. No, I can't. Actually. <laughs> you need Gary to help you with numbers. <laughs> if we would have said at the beginning of the game, who would be struggling? to score more, but they've both struggled. You'd probably think Mississippi's a little better offensively, but hasn't been the case. This, this state's defense has been a trouble. Here's our one three one again. Oh, that's where that he trapped this time. They didn't have done that earlier. And, and he's gonna move the ball, move the bodies. Gotta go inside and out. You can get a high low here. Nice, nice, nice injury play. pass by Davis to the low post. Gotta finish. You should be out there shooting threes, right? <laughs> you guys are going to argue about 13 all day, aren't you? <laughs> it is pressing when they switch. It goes right into staying at home. Nice enough down. And go to the free throw line. Great high low. Three teams, three hours, one night. The NCIS, NCIS Hawaii, and NCIS Los Angeles crossover event. It's Monday, starting at 8, 7 Central on CBS. Because uh, they weren't getting in the lane this way. They're the high-low. You got a little entry pass. The ability to finish by Allen at the rims. Got a little jump left hook as well. Robert Allen. We were watching goes. Allen shoot before the game. He's a good shooter. Mm -hmm. He's got a nice stroke. But, Raph, what we were saying earlier, I, even, you know, we're making substitution here, and Allen's coming in and looking for post-ups, but the guys, Morrell, Abram, those guys have to stay aggressive. Those, those guys are shooters that can make plays for other people, too. So Allen got both free throws to cut the lead to five. They got the one three one extended now. They call it the four-man out top, the big wingspan. Oh, not an easy catch. Matthews threw it away. The post guy's at fault, though. He's got to show earlier. Step to the ball, bail. Now, you can get a three-on-one here. Right in here, you can get it, turn, and go. Now, you're right. That was his fault, not Matthews. <laughs> nice punk away. Smith's got one. Arrested him for quite a bit of time. I'd stay with the 1-3-1 one, one if I'm on this end. They were having problems with it. Drop step. Triple team had to get rid of it. Empty side, got a blow by. Davis. Nice pass. Good look. Stevenson tried to put it back up there, and he's going to go to the free throw line. Miles Burns takes up the foul. Smith at his size on, on this kind of play has got to take it strong. He, he can't go under the rim. He's just too big and strong. And nothing easy at the rim in this game. I know. Everything's contested. I like the way this kid's played. He had a good practice yesterday. Had the best game scoring-wise for them against Tennessee. Really, there was nothing positive about that blowout loss except he had 15. He showed up early, no question about it. To make that mid-range jumper, not a deep threat, though. You know, even though both these teams are 0-2 in conference play, they played arguably the two best teams, Alabama and Tennessee, and they lost, both of them lost to both of them. And two teams that could be well into March. You were never busy in March, were you? <laughs> Brad is. No, he tried to take it to April. <laughs> he usually did. Really trying to pull it. I'm going for the pass. Every pass is denied, it seems like. Yeah, Allen. Got to bring it over and give the entry on his baseline hand. Stevenson's going straight up with it. That's his shot. That's his spot on the floor. Really got to get easy baskets. You're not going to get anything. They can test so well on both ends. I'd like to see the guards be more aggressive. We had three straight turnovers trying to get the ball inside here. Mississippi State defense is just too tough. 
on the on the interior. A nice little floppy set and double screen. Well, That's what they need. Oh, yeah. they missed the slam. I know, I know it feels good, but yeah. make the lane. But Brad, I got to tell you, when you, I remember when you're coaching on the road and you run a great set like this, and your guy gets a dunk and he misses it. In the back of your mind, you say to yourself, what, what else can go wrong really? on the road? We get a great cut. But you got to keep your attitude. Like, that's what I was, that was the point I was trying to make. They got to get the guards going more, and then they open up the big guys. Morrell can do it. I call this the Michigan State play. Israel's running so long. Dribble exchange after a pin down. A little nickel timer. On Allen. Now Chris Chan's one of the a lot of coaches in the SEC in their first year. Mike White came over from Florida to Georgia. Todd Golden, Dennis Gates was team one right in front of us. Yeah, Vermont, Chris Chattanooga, Mike White coming up from Florida. Todd Golden, great run in San Francisco as well. And this guy, goodness, what he's been able to do. He's a coach. JC. With New Mexico State, took the Aggies to the NCAA tournament last year. I did their first round game when they upset UConn. Nice slip pass. Penetration. Reed. They'll lose Smith, and the lead goes to eight. And if Reed's a shooter, they, they play him as a shooter so he can get to the rim and make plays with Tolu Smith. He tried to blow up the screen. I, I agree, and I like that call because so many times when guys go down and they sell that, he held his screen solid. Watch, he doesn't move. It's a good, solid screen. Not quite where it's not so light. <laughs> It'll do. It's tough making that call in this place. I'd, I'd go back to that single double that they got Morrell going to the rim on. Me too. Get ball movement. Get Morrell making plays. Empty side now. Morale still looking for his first points. Posting up late for it. Now he's out. Five seconds and he's still on the perimeter. You got to go. And up with a turnover. And it is. Another rebel turnover. Wide open look. Got to make these. Three. That's the three. And you don't get many of them. You must make them. That's what Reed's here for. He made those Southeast Missouri. He made them at a 40% clip. He, he's known as a shooter. Trying to force it one side. I said, nice cover in the back. Straight up from the left. Still short on the three. They never caught the ball properly. Yeah, he didn't catch that clean. They've missed their last 10, guys. Double again the dive. See, get another one. Nobody cut. Mississippi State at home with their biggest lead, and Ole Miss struggling mightily on offense. So throw to the improper hand. You really pay mightily for passes like this, not in position. Ole Miss hasn't had a field goal in 10 minutes. It is called the egg bowl, right? Well, they've got to crack a yolk pretty soon here, don't they? Nice patience. Finally. This kid's a gamer. And a little toughness in his approach. First point. Great penetration. For Jamie's McKinnis. I like them getting on the ball off penetration where they're they're driving it to score, forcing the help, then giving off the pitch rather than the post up. Because mm -hmm. Mississippi State's hands and footwork is so quick in their post defense, they turn the ball over every time they've tried to feed the post. Hands for three point play. McKinnis to transfer from Jackson State. Let's go, McNair with a rebound. And to Jay's point, Mississippi does open it up and then get some back cuts maybe on dribble drives. Once again, 1-3-1. One, one. They're going to attack at that angle if you get it. Jamel Horton in the lineup for the Bulldogs. Look at the middle, wide open, McNair. Good recovery, McGinnis. Regular zone now. Good out of five. They've been... Wasted a lot of time. Matthews. And a bailout. Oh, man. With three seconds on the shot clock. 
Cameron Matthews is the guy at the end of the clock when they've got nothing going. He'll just say, I'll, I'll take it and I'll attack the rim. And that hurts too. Malone with two. Well, let's see if Deshaun has learned from that time on the bench now. Mr. opening two shots and had another off balance attempt that was stuffed in his face. Still rusted really with the knee. And look at this entry pass. Uh -huh. That one died on the rim. And here comes Russell. This match. Ruffin's got to go north and south off those ball screens, not even laterally. That's the penetration for camp finish. Good defense by McNair. Defense up here. It's all about the glass, I think. In this game, and it's going to be cleaning it up, as Brad says. And he likes that jumper. Jeffries. It's all about who comes up with it. And look Reed it kept it alive. And rejected out of there by McKinnis. He competes that kid. Nice switch by McKinnis. Matthews forces one. Numbers right now for Ole Miss if they can take advantage of it. And open man for three and got it. Wow, early offense. How about that? Cornwall playing the two point guards together. Nice find by Ruffin. I think he learned his lesson, Jay. Can you get those open shots? As you say, you get those puppies set, you got to expect it and know that's where you're going to get your open threes. I think McNair can do some damage inside. Screen and rolls. Load up. Matthews for three. Or rebound. Look at the way they attack. Eric Reed pulls down. A ball in deep traffic. He's the one guy to get in the lane more. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, little snap by Hey, Brad, well, we have a chance. Cameron Burns in 1991, 31 years ago, in this building in overtime, made two free throws. To win for Mississippi State. How about that? Really? Yeah. His coach Richard is <laughs> selling me before the game. Why not? They've had some close ones, and they have split the last five years. That's a nice spin out. And what Whoa. a challenge! Great, great presence. There is nothing easy at the rim in this game. Open look there. Pretty slick. This is back to Burns. I think Brakefield's got to get his puppy set and shoot that three with driving into the defense there and, and, and taking contested shots. Burns did a nice job on McNair inside. Moore pull up, rimmed it out. Oh, what a follow by Matthew. Leave the chandelier, big fella. Showing that physique with the follow slam. The lead goes back to five. I would play shirtless if I had his body. <laughs> <laughs> nice block. How about that? Underneath was Reed. A nice set play. Ruffin much more under control since he came back in. That's a big NBA play. We call the stack play. First his the follow. Huh? That's How about your... that? Here, here's another one off the stack play, which is where they come off a ball screen and back screen the ball screener. That's what they got right there. Great look. But even that, finish that. I mean, you, you got to finish that. We're well, leaving some at the free throw line as well. Ole Miss came in 271st in the country in free throw shooting, and that is better than Mississippi State, if you can believe that. Yeah, he's at 35%. He's five out of 15 on the year. Another chance here. Morell's back in the game. He's got two, right, guys? Yes. He does. They know they need his offense. Luffin can be a little bit of a liability defensively. Let's see if they go at him. He's on Stevenson here. I drive him. See if he can get that third. Stevenson. He likes that turnaround jumper, doesn't he? 
Miles Burns up high for the rebound, and he'll bring it the other way. Look at the motion of those legs. They contain beautifully. Ruffin way up off the window, got it. Pretty. Got to have that at that size. Sweet kiss. If Ruffin's going to be in the game, he's got to be aggressive north and south offensively. Because defensively, he, he he's not going to make the plays the other guys do. No, not a good foul here. Poking away by McGinn. He got him where he wanted him. Ten feet away. Uh, the ability to the open floor. Everybody's in awe of the physique. Bring it in all. Send it in, big fella. Woo! Nobody's Starkville. in awe as much as you, Brad. <laughs> Starkville is away. <laughs> Remarkable progress of Bill's safety, DeMar Hamlin, uh, surprised his teammates by FaceTiming him during a team meeting yesterday. And there'll be displays of support for him throughout the league this weekend as we all continue to pray for his full recovery. There'll be patches on jerseys and helmet stickers. And DeMar, we're glad for you and your family that you get a little bit better. How great is that the country responded, Brad? Yeah, absolutely. Matthews with two on the shot clock, rimmed one out. It's pulled out of there by Robert Allen. Well, I think earlier in that possession, D.J. Jeffries had a wide open three and, and didn't take it, and it's getting late in the clock. And Ruffman takes another shot in the tall timber. You know, Jay, to your point earlier, that was that open middle. And he didn't come up with a good shot, Ruffin, but at least they could get a touch and maybe be creative. Giveaway from the rear. They might not have got him on the over the top. They've been letting that go. They might have gotten him just coming down on, on, on top of him after. So Kuba picks up his first foul and that sends Will McNair to the free throw line. He was part of that New Mexico State team I talked about for Coach, Coach Chris Jans last year that was in the NCAA tournament. How did you miss him at Villanova? They have an assistant. Don't you, don't you have a recruiting system? <laughs> they have an assistant, Dave Anwar, who's a, he's a, a guy that goes back in the field and gets guys, and he recruited him. He does a great job. Abington Friends grad, and um, McNair's good. Uh, Nick, look what he's done for them. He's scored inside for them. He's gotten to the foul line. Like good defense. The ball. Yeah. yeah. A nice backup when you think of it. Yeah. When Smith's off his game. Got them both. Four for Big Will. The lead goes back to five. And Mississippi State's got their... Yeah, one, three, three one, one, right? Three, yeah, they'll, 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 three, they'll do it further down the floor. Earlier in the year, they did a lot more in the open floor. Two, two ones and three quarters. Not a good look here. Turnover, Moore bringing it the other way. He throws it right back to them. It's amazing. The pass earlier he had, that one was so much traffic. Coming up, AT&T at the half. Adam Zucker, Wally Zerbiak, and Seth Davis break down the first half and catch up on all the day's early action. That's all coming up on AT&T at the half. Bulldogs did not turn it over. It was last touch by the Rebels. But everything contested on both these teams. Jeffries has got to get busy. Not a good look. Burns on the drive all the way. Nice run by Merrill. Made up for that miss. Merrill's going to go to the free throw line. Well, there's situations that when you're the head coach, Kermit Davis is looking at Morell go to the offensive glass. You got that, Ralph. Unbelievable. I'm jumping the passing lane wide open. Too much distance between passer and receiver. And as I was saying, you see your guy with two fouls go to the offensive line like that. You're shaking. You, you can, they do not want him to get his third here, but they got away with it. That's Morell's first points. And he's averaging 14 and a half a game. And he's a great free throw shooter. His last two games have been a struggle. First 12, good. Last two, not. Good free throw shooter. I think he leads the league, doesn't he? Yeah, he's number one at 88 percent. And that's why when he's the guy that can be getting downhill, because he can get to the foul line, get foul, or he can create passes when the, the, the shot blockers. When you're playing against a team that has great shot blockers, you've got to know your drives are going to be dump off passes. They're not going to be finishes at the rim. And the, the few times that Mississippi State and Mississippi have scored have been those kind of plays. 
The officials having a look at the scores table. I think they wanted to make sure Morrell was supposed to be the shooter, and he was. <laughs> but it was Unless smart. I something. But, you know, it was a smart move by Morrell getting there. It was. And, and that percentage. And I think Chris Jans was the one that said, let's make sure it's him, because the other guys out there aren't as close to as good a free throw shooter. That's for sure. Yeah, to talk that one in as much as they have struggled shooting guys they're only down three with two minutes and 15 seconds to go well, they, they've competed though uh, the ability on the defensive end is giving them some open looks that's a better attack to the elbow little more what a lob and the finish what a lead by murphy what a set out of the timeout gorgeous Keyshawn Murphy, redshirt freshman to his first basket. Normally, he's that three-point shooter. They feel Keyshawn Murphy can be a really talented offensive player. He's bringing them some offense. I love this when you keep a guy in the hip. Morrell missed. Cleared off by Matthews. Smart. Boy, McNair's been on the floor yeah, quite yeah. a bit. We haven't seen Smith. No. He's got the two fouls. Get it to your hook now. Give it back to repost. Jeffries on the cross pass, and now Matthews down low on the other side. Shaquille Moore got his man to go by and rend it out. That's that open look you need. You salivate. You gotta convert. You know, the backside of the 1 3 1 is always open for a lot, but you gotta have a guy there that can finish it. And Keyshawn Murphy can do it. That was a great look. Great look. Abram back at the point. He can do some damage if he gets going on the tag. You and I both like him. We like how he shoots it. Eight on the shot clock. Abram on the drive, and he somehow got the loose ball back and scored. Why don't you describe that one? <laughs> that a set play? <laughs> Dribb it. Dribbled it off somebody's knee and just take it home. Stay with the 1-3-1. One, one. Even after the lob. A lot of times lobs will get you out of that. Watch well, Jeffries, too. They're staying at home on him on the wing. Now they match up. Now they match up man to man. Now to 10. Jeffries, six on the shot clock. Three pointer, not off. Big lead right there. How about this back kid? In. Doing the dirty work. The big fella. Moving large at the rim. The pride of Martin Luther King High School in Philadelphia. Sean Colson was his coach. See if Morrell can get a shot off before the buzzer. He does on the baseline. More of that is needed for Mor Morrell for Morrell. <laughs> what? You are the most open when you first catch the ball. Then shoot it, right? Yeah, shoot it because we're, they're going down the end of the clock and they're shooting contested shots when they have open ones earlier. When I coached, the guy that was open was open for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how it picks up in the second half. Both teams trying to snap three-game losing streaks and look for their first win in conference play in the SEC. Brickfield, nice help. It leaves the ball, though. Never leave the ball. Reed missed from the free throw line. The Mississippi State backcourt, Davis and Reed, have zero points. And between them, they average about 15. And they're going to get Smith involved at the other end. Plenty of rest with those two fouls. Once again, at 10 with nothing going at the 10. At five and still out here. And now a hurried shot's upcoming. That wasn't a very good it one. It didn't hit the rim. You shot can't wait. That. That's right. Get into it quickly. And pursue the lane. And if you have an open one earlier, take it because you're forced to shoot a contested shot there at the end of the clock. You got to take it when it's there. And when they both rebound, why not? Exactly. Nice spin down. Still no points from the backcourt for the Bulldogs. Oh, right at the ring, too. Reed. Morrell trying nice to lead it in low and dead. Nice give inside to Breakfield. And what about the hands of Breakfield? Very alert. Lee's cut to one. Davis on a runner. 
So Reed and Davis, the backcourt of Mississippi State, has missed all their shots to open up the minute and a half here in the second half. I like this with Smith. I'm not getting the ball. I'm not kicking it out. I'm going <laughs> to attack the rim. Let's watch Breakfield here, Raph, with his weak hand. Great catch. He's a left-hander with his right hand. It's a heck of a play, but that's what we're talking about. It's the same thing on the other end. The best way to get it inside to these guys is drive it, make the shot blockers come and help, and dump it off because they're too good at post defense. Blown the action was Miley uh, some Burns. Miles Burns, I think, has got some blood on his hand now. I'm surprised Miles Burns. Hand every play. <laughs> he is a tough guy. Man. This is your first experience last week and this week in the SEC. Yeah. A pretty physical and yeah. deep lead. I, I want I want to yell sometimes, that's a foul, but I re remember now that I'm on this side. I, it's not going to affect me. But they've been very consistent about how they've called the game. And you've cleaned your delivery up a little bit, too. Yeah. <laughs> and that's that's a foul. That's not the way you used to do it. <laughs> Smith. Uh, he has a difficulty on that line. 55% free throw shooter. A lot of empty trips. He leads the team in attempts as well. Yeah, you, you hate to say this, but the Alabama game, they, they had a chance to, to win the game. If he, he went 3 for 15 from the foul, he did a great job getting to the line. So maybe, little, maybe he can get on the roll here. There's a little hesitation at the top. Got away with it that time. I mentioned how poorly Ole Miss shoots free throws. Mississippi State is 340th in the country as a team from the strike. There's only 360 teams. So neither of these clubs great free throw shooters. Yeah. And as you know, closing out games late, you yeah. gotta, uh, Jay knows best of all, led the country in free throw shooting last year. And what, second or third the last couple of years? Yeah. Morrell on a runner. Got it. Freddy. Freddy didn't go too deep. Respected the D. Not get there. It's our first tie of the game. I love these empty sides here. Nice string out. Kuba. Nice move by Smith. The that's, left a, hand. that's a nice ice time. Good roll. That's the guy that can go at the rim and shoot over the defense. Your 6'11 center can do that. Not your guards. You don't want your guards going there shooting over the bigs. Pretty good face in the basket, right, Raph? He is. He's not bad. That's three out of Cuba, fellas, so he's going to have to sit. That medium post, he can be effective. He's quicker than he looks, too. When your big guys face up and they drive it and shoot it over their man, they're the biggest guy on the floor. It's effective. When the smaller guys are doing it over the bigger guys, that's not effective. If he gets a go from the foul line, that's going to be a big weapon for Mississippi State. We've got somebody in double figures, everybody. <laughs> Smith. Enables them to go to the 2-2-1. Two, two, oh, they have a the turnover. Morrell. Every Back-to-back -back baskets for Morrell. Brad, how about that using the body, too? Good. 2-2-1. Two, two, Get him to cough it up, and then you turn it over. Let's see if DJ Jeffries can get it going. They're getting the two best players in a two-man game. Jeffries, the kick out, baseline three. The rim was moving. That didn't help. Numbers. The whole backboard's moving. Pretty. Morrell, three straight. Pretty good run. Again, a wide open look, great opportunity by Mississippi State. Don't convert. First Ole Miss lead since early first half. That's that spin out he loves. He's too effective in there to spin and look to pass first. He's got to look to score first, then kick it out. That was great. That was a great score off your defense. Morrell's hit the last three for the Rebels. So important opportunity baskets against either one of these teams is a so cute defensively. And a nice look by Morrell. Extra pass, and it comes back to him around the perimeter. And Brad, you're right. He's more active, too. Ole Miss's lead was all early. Good cut by it sure was. Well, he got it to the rim and kept alive, but 
a turnover on a walk. He may have gotten tripped, too. That could have been easily called a foul. I think in any other league, that's a foul. Yeah. In the SEC, that's a travel. <laughs> and Jeffries gets a piece of him. But he, Burns is so active going to the he, glass. Isn't I just he? love watching him. He's a, great, he's, a, he's a great energy player. A hustle guy. Total overload now. Matthews. Here about Bob Lakefield. Oh, nice call, too. Got to finish. Playing two man game on one side. He can make it. Three. Got it. Yeah. Uh, nice ball movement. Use both sides of the floor. Catch and shoot. Catch and shoot. He's got to do that for a break field. Even if he misses a couple, they can offensive rebound. Biggest lead for Ole Miss. Up four. Mississippi State's had some good looks to go for Smith. Uh, Jeffries could have really cut and got an open look. He's standing outside. Great field. Nice defense on Smith. And there's that trap. They run it well. There you go. Jeffries. And fouled by Morrell. Could get three, right? Right? Off. You miss, and they make you sleep out in the street because they don't love you anymore. <laughs> but you can't be afraid of that. You're the guy. Well, with your clothes, you would not sleep in the street. <laughs> Raph, during our career, there's some nights we had to sleep in the streets. Trust me, man. If you're a coach at long enough, you're sleeping in the streets. But I think Morrell's got to put that on his shoulders, and Smith's got to do the same thing, and Jeffries for, Michigan, for uh, State. They've got to take the responsibility. Jeffrey's got one of two from line. Six for him. We mentioned the shooting. First half, 28%. Much better, thanks to Matthew Morell, the second half for Ole Miss. Mississippi State going the opposite direction. And with a hand right in there. The response yeah. and speed, right? Sean Davis that time. The Sean Davis is... Typical of Bronx defensive ball play. Quick hands, doesn't foul. You know what's amazing about Mississippi State? They play this defense and they don't foul, as they call it. Foul. Right. <laughs> now, you mentioned the Bronx. The other night I saw Ed Pinkney. One of Villanova's greats. Easy Ed Pinkney yeah. still working for the Houston Rockets in the NBA. There's a the guy they didn't need to pick up their third foul. Right. It's amazing sometimes the calls they let go, and now this, now your best player's got three fouls on a call like that. A nickel and dime. Now you sound like a fan. <laughs> People want to see the good players on the floor. Nice pickup to try. They don't call it. Moore. Murphy, be careful. He can make the deep one. Shaquille Moore spins into traffic, and they got a foul. They got lucky on that one as McKinnis was in his way. He's the one guy in watching these games, and I, I had them in Florida a couple of games. Boy, pretty much a dance there. Yeah, he might have got he might have got saved there, but you're you're right about him. Played at NC State. He's he's got some boogie in his game. He could create shots and hit threes. Good ball movement. Oh, he had the open look too. Moore thought about it himself. You got to drive him. He can shoot it. Yep. Murphy can shoot it. And with range, too. Nick Nair. Good look. More open. Got one. A neck ball. <laughs> I an eagle calls it a wedgie, but I'm much more sophisticated. And you wouldn't say that in the hump. <laughs> you both just did. <laughs> you know, there's something about the leather. Do you realize that? It's a chemical... There's more squish shots. Are you Is this scientific? Are you, sure? Sure. It, it, you see balls stick and then pop in more so than years ago. It's the economy. There, the ball just popped out of the wrong hands, too. In the McNair's. Old Miss back to back turnovers. Chance for Jeffries and company on the other end. We'll go to the free throw line. Got to use the left hand there. I know you get to the free throw line, but a chance for three attacking McGinnis. It starts with their D, and they know we got to create some offense off our defense, and that's exactly why they go to that 1-3-1, one, one, and this is what it creates. Good job. You're right. To get the three-point play, that's a left-hand shot. Exactly. 
What would you say to a player that came into your huddle and said, Coach, I missed the shot because of the chemical ingredients <laughs> in the ball? Or you were talking about the stickiness. I was thinking he, he turned the ball over because it wasn't sticky enough. Uh -huh. But Jeffries is a good shooter that's just not shooting well right now. Talk about sticky situations. Friday on CBS is TV's top news show, Fire Country, CBS original that critics call explosive and pure entertainment. Kind of like Jay and Rap. Don't miss a new episode of Fire Country Friday, 9, 8 Central on CBS. Right, I would have to say you were pretty entertaining last night. You did it yourself, buddy. We, don't blame it on us, too. Uh, this kid was at Memphis. You probably covered him there, did you, Brad? Um, I might have. Yeah. There's now with the portal. It's hard to tell. You need a program. Yeah, they got it back. Ooh, it was there. Jay wanted you to shoot it. More for three. So they can chase it. That's the one to shoot. Yeah. Couldn't buy one that trip, even from the foul line. Remains a three-point Ole Miss lead. Now this is Chris Jans. Who's your shooting coach? You got to fire him. He said, I am. <laughs> Pretty oh, nice, nice timing. Move. How about using the shoulder, too, to ward off? Mississippi State has an offensive lineup in the game, which is rare for them, and it's, it's affecting a little bit defensively. But they've got they've got four perimeter guys that can score here on the floor. They gotta make some shots. And nine one run has made it in a five point game. Late double on that cross screen. Drag and nobody cutting to the foul area. There's nobody in the lane right now. <laughs> Gotta shoot it. Jeffries. <laughs> nope. But he had it. So did I. But you know, Rap, they did have a dive to the lane, but McNair didn't see it. It was there. The double team kept him from seeing it. We've been saying great defense. I just think it's been neglectful offense. It's not seizing opportunities like that. Morrell, three, rims out. Look at this hustle. Both are having a really enthusiastic performance here. And I'd like to see Breakfield catch and shoot. Well, Brad covers football. I think you need pants and helmet here. <laughs> you talk about neglectful offense, right? You get two guys, Breakfield's wide open in the corner. He stops there and kicks it back to him. And then Breakfield gets a wide open three rather than the contested shots are taken at the end of the clock. By the way, your kids jump stopped and used their pivot foot. A lot of teams could look at tape of that and help them with their cause. Well, that's been being with the team for a long time. Chris has taken over this team, and he's tried to establish an identity of defense first. Chris will have them doing that. It's going to take a couple of years, but right now, you got to be impressed with their defense. It's going to keep them in it, and they've got to create some scoring opportunities off the defense now. It's a different kind of defense he was explaining to us yesterday than what he's used to running. He said, beginning of the season, I told the kids, I don't know. We'll see how it works, guys. It's new to me, too. You know, he hasn't been switching tonight, or this afternoon, I should say. And by the way, our shot of him on the sideline, he does, Brad, what the football coaches do. Hand signals, yep. and, you know, nonverbal communication, which we could try here on occasion. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got the biggest lead of the ball game for Ole Miss. It got Murphy in the game. They should use him. He can shoot it. There's that shot. A dribble drive. Finally, a three goes for Reed. Hallelujah. High arcing. Boy, they needed that one. They've had that shot on the dribble drive. Push off now. They let him play. Open look here. Come on. That man there off the miss. Can't get a better look than that. Third shot you got to make. This level, open shots separate you if you make them. They know he can shoot it. They, they are they are scouting report ready for Murphy. He won. Oh, nice dish from McNair. Got away with it. Cameron Matthews is making play for him. Yeah. Getting the ball, get the ball to the rim. Well, well, just the, to the, the crowd just warmed up at the hump. Chance to tie or lead for the Bulldogs. 
Oh, nice move for the lead. Got it. Catch and shoot, Rob. You're the most open when you first catch it. Cameron Murphy gets a wide open one for more. 8-0 run for Mississippi State. They've got the lead back on their home floor. Burns keeps it alive. Well, they're acting like a home court right now. They are into this. Morrell. I like Morrell being aggressive here. Fades one over McNair and got it. Wow. Big time delivery. Didn't break ankles either. Yeah. Step back, Jack. McNair did a pretty good job. He oh. did. He had a tough contested shot. That's what's going to take in this game. You're going to have to hit contested shot. I think these guys are tired right now. Just holding it out. This is that one. This is that one one three. A variation of his one three one. Jerry Tarkanian. Moore got his man in the air. He'll take the runner. That kid's got some talent. Playing within the system, he can really help this club. He really can. Forty one apiece. Past the midway point. Second half. Straight Shaquille up Moore, to three. And Shaquille Moore started 29 games last year. He's used to this. He, he knows he knows this game. Got a pop to the foul line. McNair's not going to come up. Turn and look and shoot it. Burns. Off the mark. Rebound off to Eric Reed. Oh, <laughs> that's unbelievable. Uh, you know, some of these shots are finger breakers. <laughs> so they hit you wrong coming off the glass or rim. Miles Burns should be the recipient of offensive rebounds, not, not taking those threes. It's packed his zone in, Raph. Ole Miss has packed it in. Right there. In fact, he has had a heck of a game. Double figures for Will McNair. Followed his coach and driving. that for you that's what's going to take to win a rival game in the egg bowl here and this place is rocking now this is this is fun to be a part of this even, i know you're even, not into thorns but that was a bulldog it, that's bully <laughs> i was going to say even bully's awake and he's into it sometimes he sleeps through parts of games nice hands by matthews and read up another out of the timeout Chris Chance went 1-3-1 one, one out of the timeout, so they couldn't run the set. They set up. Made himself bigger with the hands, though. I thought that was at me. A 14-3 run by Mississippi State. Once again, the foul line is open. A little dribble drive. Maybe run some of your man stuff. Oh, goodness. Back-to-back -back horrible turnovers. Well, the defense had caved already. Got to read it. Tolu Smith back in there playing with three fouls. They actually went from being down in the game when he went out to taking the lead. And now they're back with their star player in there. And nobody going to the rim on that drag dribble. Matthews, whoop. Look at Murphy. Murphy went airborne and now goes back to the rack. And so does Smith. Trying to block the shot. There's it. Pretty big fella Smith. Ruffin in the game now. Ruffin's got to be creative and attack gaps in this 1-3-1. One, one. Ruffin will take it for three. Nice in and out. Nice tip back, but unfortunately Moore. Moore coming back down. He's going to pull it out. How about that poise? Yeah, Matthews doesn't have to score when he plays. Hey, Kevin Matthews has been the playmaker. Yeah. He's the guy driving and making plays for everybody. That's why they got him in pick and roll. And he draws the foul here. A 16-3 run. Tom Cruise stars in Top Gun Maverick. Now streaming on Paramount Plus. Rated PG-13. Head to ParamountPlus.com slash Top Gun Maverick to try Paramount Plus for free. 
We're working with George Clooney. What, what mark it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to go out with him, isn't it? Nobody pays attention to exactly. anybody except him. He does handle it nicely. Though. He does. Not right. a good pass here. That distance. Wow. Mm. Not a good one. You mentioned Matthews. Four assists. Play great, Brad. 647 remaining in the egg bowl in Starkville. I was going to say, Brad, he's he's been doing the two guys in double figures, right? McNair is just as effective. Yeah, McNair's got 10, and so does Smith. So it, it hasn't hurt them today, and he's done a good job defensively. They're getting offense off their defense, and that's been the difference. Uh, you, you know what? That ball was touched first by the inbounder. Unless it bounced on the out of bounds. Full court pressure, man to man. The first time. Now the two two ones. There's the guy that got all this back in the game. Well, yeah, gotta get him. Good foul. Automatic switching now. They haven't done this much this game. Ruffin with a jump stop, and then they got stuffed in his face by McNair. A little too deep, and he had a slip pass if he wanted. You know, I'm okay with that, Raph, though. I like, I like Ruffin in the middle of the floor because he can create his own shot. He can create for others. If he gets by there, he's got a way of jumping into people like Kyle Lowry used to for us yeah. and creating fouls. Oh, tough catch by Morell on the baseline. And they like to force the baseline. And he had an opening for a moment. Look at the length of the closeout. Nice There's a nice dish by Allen How to Brakefield. The dive. Big time. Stay with the 1-3-1 one, one because chance. Burns up and under. Jeffries will clear off the miss. And Moore did not give up on that play. Big time effort. Check. Lobs it. McNair. Season high right there for number 13. If Moore plays under control, he's their point guard. Plays like the last couple. Sick the lady. Chris might have to live with a, a little mistake from him now and then because he is so dynamic. Oh, goodness, the distance of that pass. Allen in traffic. They're looking for a tie-up. Kick it out. And now they do get one. Nope. Yes, they do. Going the other way, though, they're going to jump ball. Mississippi State ball. Well, so many opportunities to get into that lane and be a factor. Just solid read and understanding. And I just love this play by him. Stop. Didn't jump stop, but still didn't over penetrate. Good feel of delivery. And same thing with McNair. Coming down with it, being solid, going up and finishing. Mississippi State's go Mississippi's going to this one for one. They're staying with it. They got confused in transition last time. That's why they gave up the basket. They got to get it over the court, half court. Nice trap here. He may give up a corner jumper. A lot of fumbleitis here. Davis inside McNair. Swat it out of there. How about McGinnis again? He stays with it. Or they stay with it, I should say. And Murphy with a bucket. What rebounding drills these two teams <laughs> must have. Go at it. A shot up on the glass is better than an assist for Mississippi State. Put it up there and go get it. This ties the biggest lead of the day for Mississippi State. A nice job by Burrell just to hesitate. Stand your guy up and right to the rim. For Mississippi, you're on the road right now. Morrell has to step up. He's, he's got to take this on his shoulders right now. He's got 13 points, nine in this half. And an excellent free throw shooter. I'd like to see him get a two man game with Brakefield. Morrell and Brakefield are two guys that you got to score. Now, you're not going to have a chance to do it off your defense. Well, the best free throw shooter in the conference misses one Friday on CBS. TV's top news show, Fire Country. The CBS original critics call explosive and pure entertainment. Don't miss a new episode of Fire Country Friday at 9, 8 Central on CBS. Matthew Morrell, second of two. 88% free throw shooter before that miss got the second. He's got 14, which is right about on his average. 
Still with that one three run, Jay. And they have time. There's plenty of time here. They can get stops off this. They can create some turnovers off this one three one. So Burns really active at the point of attack. Never give up your dribble when you're being trapped. Always keep your dribble, particularly in Death Valley out there. Well, that's Murphy with an open look. They have covered him on the pick and pop. Jeffries got bumped on the way by Caldwell. He's talking about making Jeffries more aggressive and him having to take it upon himself to be an, a, an aggressive offensive player. And he's doing a pretty good job today. He's got he's he's drawing a lot of fouls. One now he's got to make free throws. Yeah, one and one now, and that's the whole key for both these teams. And Raph said it earlier when you come down to crunch time, the last. Four minutes, two minutes, whatever. You don't want to leave any 15 feet away. Jeffries, a 59% free throw shooter, is one for four today. I love the competitive nature of this game. Though. Yeah, it is. It well, is. They are not backing off a rivalry. Nice play. Good way to keep it alive by Murphy. They've been dribbled and crossed them. Numbers now. Live, morale. Turnovers, not what they needed. Just make the pass. That one's got Kermit David up, Davis upset. You, you got a two on one right there. Whatever you got to do, especially this point in the game, you got to stop. It's a four on one chase. That's the correct. <laughs> oh my good. That one will drive the coach crazy. Breakout. Here's an updated look at the foul trouble. After that last whistle on Ruffin, he has three. Jeffries goes right back to the free throw line. You know, we're far from this point, but you might want to start pulling to Jimmy Valvano and, and fouling here where these teams are shooting free throws. Yeah. If you're down, if you're Mississippi, not yet, but you might want to start thinking about that for Mississippi State. They've had success when they get into the corner and do something to the elbow. Morrell got it. Morrell's got 16. Two possession game here. No need to panic at all. This one did a nice job too. Got it to the right guy. I would attack on the other side. Yeah. Ruffin is a little smaller. Davis leads it out to Murphy. He likes that it. spot. Not that time. Ooh. Tough. Burns hit the deck hard. Oh, three go. Davis has been waiting all day to see something drop. I don't know if he was planning on it being this one, but man, the dogs will take it. Our CBS crew in Starkville, Mississippi, where the Bulldogs try to snap a three game losing streak on their home floor and with the lead left a possible four point play out there from Deshaun Davis. Eight point lead, three minutes to go. Automatic switching again. Yep, staying at home. They like rough it in the middle of the floor here. Forcing a tough pass because of his size. Burns with five on the shot clock. They run this before that double. Morrell three, tough short. Shot. Challenged by Reed. Second chance now. He's open when he catches that rap. You can't take this much time on every position. Tough shot here again. Everything contested. There's your guy. McNair, another rebound, plus a 12-point game offensively, which was his best this year. I think there's a little bit of clock here. There's the difference of keeping him under 10. The ball almost died on the floor for him. Davis. Got it! I beg his part of the three. Big time dagger. That's what they brought Reed here for. That's what he's known for. He hasn't been making them, but in the biggest game, he's making them now. Two big ones this half. Earl Valley Conference kid. Biggest lead of the game. Gotta go. 
Time is of the essence if you're an old Miss fan right now. Ruffin flanked one up there. He got it up in time, but off the mark. And a minute and a half left in Mississippi State with a double-digit advantage. Well, can start the foul. Yeah, he could start fouling these guys now. And Chris Daniels is going to call a timeout. Timeout with what's going on offensively. It never takes away their defensive intensity. That's so hard to do as a coach. Chris really gets those guys to believe in that. And the trouble getting that in. Tell you what, after the practice he put his guys through yesterday, I thought their tongues would be dragging in the first half of this game. Nice pass, easy. You were more tired than the players. I really was. <laughs> Burrell in traffic and one. More of that earlier. He's too good, this kid. He's going to be a part of many of the trips that they have. And nobody down here protecting the basket. There's the panic time of the game. Rotations and communication, not quite what they have to be. You realize when you're trapping, you've got to be extra enthusiastic about all your rotations because you're taking chances. They, they just got caught in a the trap there. Great job getting out of it. One thing about Mississippi State, I mean, when they make threes to a different team that really struggled against Alabama and Tennessee, you know, terrible numbers, 12 to 32, Alabama, 4 18 against Tennessee. Matthews, they're trying to trap him. And it's not a bad idea fouling these guys early, making this a free throw shooting contest. Well, he's pretty good, 78%. Yeah, but Mississippi State has not shot the ball well from the foul line. It, it cost them in their Alabama game. They if don't you have do a lot want, of time. If you do want somebody at the free throw line, I think Rap just alluded to it, it's this guy. I want, him on, I want him on my side no matter where I, we I do too. <laughs> I still want him as a football player, but that's a different story. Well, talk him out of that one. Mississippi's got to get into quick sets. Quick shots, quick sets, set up their defense. They're taking too long to get into their offense. And part of it is attributable to the defense, too. Yes. But the quick hitter is absolutely a, a necessity at this point. Matthews, Mississippi native out of Olive Branch. Got the second. He and Jeffries grew up playing ball together in Olive Branch. They won a state championship. They did. They'll have an olive branch in their teeth if they hold on the next minute and win this egg ball. <laughs> Allen in some traffic with a left hand scores. Yeah, I gotta get the defense. They get the quick timeout. You know, it's when you're and almost maybe a five second call, then the first pass out of the trap foul. And force maybe that home run pass too if everybody fronts. It's a gamble. It's going to be Cameron Matthews to trigger it. And, and there the comes game. the Hail Mary pass. There you go. And a two-shot foul coming up. Great call, Raph. When they set those guys on yep. the wing, coming strong, there's one guy in the middle of the floor. You know who made the pass? It wasn't Grand Hill. <laughs> Matthews. He's done so much for this yeah, yeah. team today. He's been so impressive. Put it right on the money, too. Oh, beautiful. You've seen a few of those in your heyday. Well, they've had a few of those here, and we're going to miss Mike Leach. We're talking about Mississippi State mm. and the passing of their football program. Will Rogers this year and so many Dak Prescott in years past. And a great football program. But uh, that'll be a loss for me the next time I come back here for a football game, not having Mike around. I love reading the stories about him. It must have been a very interesting human he, being. He was a beauty. We very seldom talk football. All the way back when he was offensive coordinator at Oklahoma under Bobby Stoops. And a lot of good days there in the national championship there with John Teichel and those guys. We miss you, Coach. Three-pointer by Breakfields and air ball. Matthews on the backside. Had his hands on it. Had it knocked away, but it's bulldog ball. 38 seconds left. It's impressive how their defensive intensity has picked up with the lead. And Mississippi can't get into anything. Got a little giveaway here. And McNair showing his arm to get it down to Chuck Jones. One of our referees on the other end. I, I think we all agree Mississippi does have a couple of guys, I think, that can improve their offensive schemes as the year goes on. Yes. Four, four freshmen. 
four transfers. They've got a lot of new players, but we've all watched them and thought, all the games we've watched, they've got guys that can score, mm -hmm. right? They're just not making shots right now. They feel like they, they, they just don't have a chemistry yet. And so many guys stepped up, including McNair here on the free throws. He's had a really solid game. How did we let him get out of Philadelphia? Back? He, he is having a great game, making free throws. Defensively, he's been tough. And he didn't shoot a three. Because New Mexico State had a guy. Yeah. <laughs> you already mentioned that. Yeah. That's they why we didn't get him. He stole him from us. <laughs> and another turnover. And it's going to be Mississippi State ball. they got to get Abram going, too, I think. He's another guy. He's an important cog in this offense. Breakfield. Breakfield's got the ability to be a big-time scorer. He can get them going. Matthews just came over towards me. I said, hello, Mr. Matthews. Yes. <laughs> For fear. And a quick foul by Ruffin. For 30 seconds to go. Mississippi State's doing something interesting. They have a big lead. Ole Miss is trying to get quick buckets, and they're still trapping them, mm -hmm. but they're not fouling. Most coaches wouldn't do that because they're afraid if I trap, we're going to call foul. But they're so well-schooled, they trap and don't foul. And they're actually increasing their lead. Now, you had mentioned that yesterday in passing to the coaching staff that they, they do guard in a overzealous fashion, but they don't get the small change fouls. Murphy with seven on the day. 12 point lead. That one goes, gets it to nine. Caldwell. Good foul. They're going to play to the end. Take pride in that. So Mississippi State, last January, won the matchup between these two teams. By 18 back on January 22nd, and now they're just 21 seconds away from winning here on their home floor to snap a three-game losing streak and to get their first SEC win for the new coach, Chris Jans. And he trusts Matthews inbounds that ball. Yeah. Great, great confidence. Although you do like somebody with size, uh, obviously small forward would be ideal, as he is. Ruffin files out. But he's the large small forward. <laughs> It's like a large smallmouth bass. That's sort of a, a trusted inbounder is so valuable on your team. Offensive baseline out of bounds, inline out of bounds, so valuable. They agreed. All his points came to this half, eight points. Here's what's coming up for Mississippi State now. Wednesday they'll be in Athens against Georgia and then at Auburn. Tennessee, Florida, Alabama, and TCU. I don't think it's much easy, Brad. Not really no, they got to play Tennessee and Alabama again relatively soon, and they lost to those two teams recently. And Georgia just beat Auburn. Final 15 seconds. Morrell's three. Back there, another rebound. Impressive rap, huh? In first first place, time. good first win for Chris Jans. Great rivalry game. Fun to be with you, fellas. Jay, your first day goal was fun. First Brad. time being with you was fun. Great to see you, Brad. See you guys down the road. Final score, 65.